this story is strange. It just doesn't seem to make sense. You've provided us a birth certificate of Rachel's. You've given us family photos of Rachel. Why is your daughter then pretending to be black? We can't answer that question for her. She has not explained to us why she is doing what she's doing and, and being dishonest and deceptive with her identity. Do you, I mean, this is your daughter, though. Why do you think she's pretending? <clears throat> well, basically, bottom line, we're just saying that we are, we're confirming the truth. We are her birth parents, and we do not understand why she feels it's necessary to misrepresent her ethnicity. Now, this has clearly been going on for a while. When did it start? It started kind of gradually, maybe around 2007 or so, but we first heard about her claims to be African-American uh, from a newspaper article from the Spokane, Washington area, and that was the first we knew she was doing it. She has never claimed to be biracial or African-American in our presence. She's risen to be a leader, as we see. I mean, she's the president of the local chapter of the NAACP. She's risen to be a leader in the African-American community in Spokane. Why, you say the, the first time you heard about her misrepresenting herself was from a newspaper, or from when a newspaper article came out. Is that why you haven't spoken out before? Well, it, this newspaper article that I'm referring to was some, some years ago, but <clears throat> Rachel has not wanted to have contact with us and so we haven't communicated with her about this. We've only recently been contacted as her birth parents to verify that she is our daughter. We've never been brought into the picture. We've never been asked these questions until now. I mean, this seems to be quite a mess. Um, do you wish you would have spoken out sooner? Well, a lot of people knew that Rachel was white Mm -hmm. And for a while, it seemed like she was <clears throat> just doing more of an uh, artistic, expressive representation of her identifying with African Americans by doing her hair and extensions and things like that. But when it started to be claims that she was African American, then as family, we didn't, we didn't take the initiative to report her doing that, but there were many other people from her hometown and from from the area that knew that she was not African American and no one of them spoke up either. And they were just and puzzled. I think a lot of folks are puzzled, um, this TV anchor included. When it comes to the family, you said that you haven't talked to her in a while. There, there's clearly some complicated family dynamics at play here uh, and then you haven't talked to her in a long time why is that Ed's at her request that's because Rachel has chosen to distance herself from the family and and be hostile toward us she doesn't want us where she is she doesn't want to be seen with us because that ruins her image so what's your reaction Lawrence when it first came came to your attention that she was that, that she says she was African-American. What was your reaction? Well, we, we were just puzzled and didn't understand why she felt it was necessary to uh, misstate her ethnicity. Now, you, you haven't spoken to her uh, by, uh, on her request. What would you like to say to her now? Uh, we could tell, we would tell her that we love her, we care about her, just be honest. Tell the truth. Ruth Ann, do you think she should remain the head of the NAACP there? That certainly is not my decision. I, I pray that there will be sound judgment on that decision. What do you think, Lawrence? Again, it's really uh, the decision that whoever is in charge of the NAACP and other positions that Rachel may hold, they're the ones that will be responsible to determine if there's any ethics violation, if there's been any uh, gross misrepresenta misrepresentation on her part that warrants uh, a change in her status. 
Now, it's one thing to have a complicated family dynamic, uh, and it's one thing to have someone want to be different than they are when they were born. Th that goes without saying. But when someone rises to be a prominent civil rights activist in their state, and they're your daughter, that must be tough. I, I don't want to put an emotion on you guys, but it it what's going through your mind today? It saddens us deeply, yeah. and it hurts us deeply, yes. Now, you had said when this started, it was back in uh, sometime in 2000. Is there any way uh, I, that she went to Howard University? Did she attempt to get any scholarships based on race or ethnicity? No. No, in her, her application to Howard University, there was no designation for ethnicity. And mm -hmm. because Rachel was coming from a Jackson, Mississippi, college because her portfolio of art was all african-american portraiture they assumed she was black and only found out she was not after they awarded her a full ride scholarship and she arrived and what was it was there any reaction or follow-up to that well the way we understood uh, eyes were popping and jaws were dropping when she walked in to finalize her registration in person but for that application, I do not believe Rachel was deceptive as she has been more recently. You need to understand that, see, in 95, when she left to go to Bellhaven College in, yep. in Jackson, Mississippi, she was there when she applied to Howard after graduating from Bellhaven. So she, they're talking to her from Howard in Jackson, Mississippi. And so she sounds, she's immersed in the American african-american culture in the community there she sounds african-american on the phone she did well, to us as well and it wasn't a deceptive thing at that time that's just who she was well talk to me about <laughs> about your family dynamic a little bit more as far as i understand and you can correct me if i'm wrong you you adopted four children two of those children two of those children are, are black you had said i believe i read in, in one newspaper account that you think that that diversity in your family is so part of what sparked her interest in speaking out for the african-american community do you think that's part of it yes i believe that's part of it although rachel has always been interested in ethnicity and diversity and we had many friends of different ethnicities when she was growing up so it didn't start with the four adopted children of color it was uh, probably that added to her passion. And if you see the picture that we've uh, provided at Rachel and Kevin's wedding reception in Mississippi in 2000, you'll see that we actually have all four of our adopted children are, are black. Uh, three of them are African American. One is from Haiti. Well, it is. I'm looking at the picture right now. It is a beautiful family. And it looks like you guys have a lot to work through, to say the very least. Well, your daughter is now under investigation for ethics violations because she's rose to prominence um, and maybe very likely, according to you guys, absolutely misrepresenting who she really is.